Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my colleague and I are working in the area of uh, quantum information and quantum computation. Uh, just uh, last year, uh, a Google scientist has published an article in Nature announcing the target of uh, quantum technology commercialization in five years. Two months ago, IBM announced this uh, 50 qubit quantum computer. It seems the new quantum world is really coming closer and closer. Well, how does, the, uh, how does it work? And where does the power of quantum computation come from? Uh, in a classical computer, we use zero or one to encode our information. But in the quantum world, we use qubit, zero plus one. Different from classical bit, they can be in a superposition state, just like with. This superposition gives the power to quantum computation. How does it work exactly? With two classical bits, we just need two numbers to describe it. But with n number of classical bits, we need n numbers to describe it. But with two qubits, because they are in a superposition state, we need four numbers, A, B, C, D, to describe it. With n num numbers of qubits, we need two to the power of n numbers to describe it. So here it's related to comparison between n and two, two to the power of n. Just like the story of this chessboard and the rice. 64 is not a big number, but two to the power of 64 is a very big number. It's more than the rice is produced in the world. Can you imagine that? With n qubits, we can have the deal with the information with two to the power of n numbers. That's where the power of uh, quantum computation comes from. With this uh, uh, big computation power, we can do this uh, complicated tasks such as uh, new material design, searching, or password cracking. Regarding this uh, password cracking, many people may worry about the security of our lives, but uh, quantum can also be used to enhance our security, just as uh, uh, the, the talk in the last session by using quantum communications. Quantum computation is like a sword, but quantum communication is like a shield. So I strongly believe that in the next few years, more surprises is waiting for us in the quantum world. My name is Gao Weibo. I'm from Nanyang Technological University. Thank you for your attention.